Hi everyone, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about building a capsule wardrobe. A capsule wardrobe is really essential when we talk about living a more minimalist lifestyle or just intentional living in general because we're carefully curating a timeless and concise wardrobe that works for us and our lifestyles. It's not only environmentally friendly, it's really good for our budgets and also I love that the focus is on quality over quantity. So today I'll be talking to you about what is a capsule wardrobe, why do we need one, and six really easy and simple steps to get started on building your capsule wardrobe. And if you enjoy content on minimalism, mindful living, then please consider joining our community here on Malama Life, where I post videos similar to this one. So without further ado, let's get started. A capsule wardrobe allows us to have an honest evaluation of our closet so we can hold on to items that we love and edit out what we don't. The whole objective is to have pieces in our closet that fit our personalities, style, lifestyle, and day-to-day -day activities so we can feel comfortable and feel like ourselves in our clothes. We should be able to wear a combination of our capsule wardrobe all year long, and this will encourage us to be creative with the pieces that we have, shop in our own closet, develop a personal style, and get dressed quickly in the mornings. Also. This will save us a lot of money from buying unnecessary clothing items. So how do we get started? Well, first you can set some rules for yourself. You can be really deliberate with the number of pieces that you want in your capsule. I've seen capsules with 33 pieces or 37 pieces, and I think that's really up to you. You can use this numbering system as a guide to help you build this capsule wardrobe. But for me, personally, I'm just placing a focus on the pieces that work for me and worrying about the number later. Also, for my capsule wardrobe, I'm not including my swimwear, underwear, activewear, socks, or anything like that um, because I feel like I've minimized pretty well in these categories already. So in today's video, I'm just talking about the pieces in our closets, in our wardrobe. I also want to mention that I'm working with what I have. I'm not buying new pieces for my capsule, not just yet, because as some of you guys might already know, I'm doing a low buy year this year, as many of you guys are. And second, because I probably already have everything in my closet that I need already to start building my capsule wardrobe. I know that it's really important to fill in the gaps of our capsule wardrobe, of the pieces that are missing but this should be a gradual process that shouldn't be done all at once in one shopping spree. And this is something that we'll talk about later in the video. Now it's time to get started. So take out everything in your closet, and I mean everything, to place it on your bed and start making three piles. Your uniform, the maybe pile, and your letting go pile. Your uniform is going to be your essentials. These are your building blocks, the foundation to your capsule wardrobe. Clothes that you wear all the time, the ones that you reach for when you're getting ready in the morning. Some key questions that you can ask yourself to identify these pieces are how many times have I worn this item? Have I worn it in the last week or month? And how many times do I see this in my laundry pile when I'm doing laundry? And if you're still not sure, then one thing you can do is hang all of your hangers backwards in your closet. And after six months, if a hanger is still backwards, then those are probably the pieces that you don't wear and need to get rid of. So the maybe pile are the items that you like, but you don't know how it fits you anymore or you haven't worn it in a long time. And we'll go back to this pile just in a little bit. And the third pile is the letting go pile. These are the items that you are giving up, whether you're selling it or donating it. Um, I think that's for a whole nother video. 
And in fact, I'm trying to make a video on how you can sell your clothes online and make some money. So definitely look out for that video. But for now, let's go back to that maybe pile. You have to ask yourself, does this item go with at least three other items in my capsule? Or how many outfits can I come up with this item? Do I like the cut, the fit, the fabric and color? Does this go with my lifestyle or my personal style? To help me filter out even more, I have specific questions that I ask for myself. For example, I live in Hawaii where the weather and climate is pretty consistent all year round. So everything in my closet really has to reflect that. I am not going to reach for a big chunky sweater even in the middle of winter because just the climate doesn't call for it. With that being said, I'm not getting rid of all of my long sleeves and all of my sweaters because I do go visit my parents once in a while or if we go up to the mountains. I don't want to throw everything away, donate everything, and just to turn around and buy it all over again. I think that would really defeat the whole purpose of a capsule wardrobe. Another really specific question that I ask myself is, is this item really easy to maintain or wash? This is really important because I have two little dogs and we love to play outside. We go to the beach and park and my clothes get really dirty. So it has to be easy to maintain. Now it's time to go back to your closet, to all the clothes that you decided to keep, and see what your personal style really looks like. Consider the colors, silhouettes, shapes, proportions too. Like, do you have way too many tops and not enough bottoms? Do you like patterns or more solid colors and simple designs? Over the years, I've experimented a lot with different shapes, colors, and cuts and trying to find what really works for me and what I feel the best in. And I noticed that my color scheme, my palettes, really reflect my natural surroundings. So you'll find a lot of beige, cream, taupe, um, browns and blacks even. I feel like these colors really complement my skin tone as well, so it really works for me. And I think this is the really fun part where we get to be creative and mix and match with the items that we have in our capsule. And if you live in a colder climate, you can do this easily by layering. And this is a really great way to keep all the same pieces throughout the year, regardless of the season. And this is why I love investing in classic pieces because they never go out of style and I don't have to keep replacing it as the trends go in and out. So for me, this is denim. I, I love my Levi's denim. Um, this one was thrifted. I love these tank tops. I've bought the same tank tops three times in three different colors because I love the cut so much on how it fits my body. For outfit inspiration, there's no better place than Pinterest to get some new ideas. I noticed that the same shirt can look completely different just by the way we accessorize, by tucking it in differently, by tying it in the front. And there are so many different outfits we can make with it. A capsule wardrobe does not have to be boring or restrictive in any way. It's really up to us to be creative and to make the most out of it. Examining our closet is important because we will get a sense of what's missing in our capsule. For example, do you have way too many dress up clothes, but not enough good basics? And I think this is why I felt like I never had anything to wear in my closet because my clothes didn't really reflect my lifestyle. For the items that you feel like are still missing from your closet, I highly recommend starting a wish list and you can add it throughout the weeks or the days when you feel like you really need that item. Once you try out your capsule wardrobe with just what you have for a month or two, then you can go back to your wish list and see if it's really necessary to add it to your capsule.
So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments what items are in your capsule wardrobe. I would love to know and I would love to see it. You can use the hashtag MalamaLo for our low buy challenge inspiration, any tips or for your capsule wardrobe ideas. I would love it if you could share it with us. So thank you guys so much and until next video, take care.